Hello Mark, quick video here just to show you what we've done with the Mercedes. Um, as you can see we stripped out the um, inner carpet. It's foamed back and I think part of the problem is, is that the foam itself absorbs water over time. So it doesn't need to be all in one go. It slowly absorbs and obviously this time of year it's not drying out. Um, and then eventually it comes through into the actual top of the carpet. So at the moment that's above a heater being dried out. But we've left it out so obviously you can see if we've got any water, more water coming in. I um, think we found the source of the problem, it was what we thought. Inside here, inside the inner wheel arch, is this... Get into focus, where are we? Oh there we go, yeah. Is this little bay, which is basically sort of sits inside where the water comes out, and all that bottom bit there, and the fingers coming through, completely full up with moss and leaves, so it wasn't draining at all. And that just plugs in... Well, let's go and show you. Plugs in up there. What I've been advised to do is actually it serves no real purpose apart from being a bit of a funnel. So I've been advised just to take it out. So I'll bring it back with us. Um, but the water's all fully draining out of there now. You can you can tell the difference as soon as you take it out. Uh, well, actually, when I stuck my finger up and it's suddenly unblocked. So that one's now clearly running clear. Um, the second one's a nice easy one, which is this tube here. Okay, and that that's short and free. The other one that's caused the problem. Ironically, we didn't focus on it because it's on the wrong side, is the third one which runs down the left of the battery tray here. And it's again, it is a design fault because as you look down it, you can't see the camera, but you put your hand down, there's a point where it suddenly goes really thin, it sort of narrows out. Um, and again, I've got my. Where has it gone now? Yeah, got the old trombone brush. Um, and again, I've had the hose pipe running down as you can see, and it was all. It gave it away because it was all filling up on this corner. Here it was all filling up and it's not draining. So I shoved the brush down and suddenly you heard it go and it just all galloped out. So obviously whatever was blocking it was cleared. But my fear is that, and again from what I've spoke to Dave about at MBZ, is that this is the one that does block up because against the design floor. What you can do is just literally pull it off and it all flows out. Uh, and there's nothing too significant here, but obviously it's not ideal. What some people do is take the actual drain tube off and put a little hose pipe on there with a cable clip and just run it down alongside without the kink, which might be advisable to do. Okay, so put that one back on. Um, and then the final one over in the corner there is, um, that's fine. That one's only for the battery tray. We checked that one last time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is we'll put it back together and then give it a really, really heavy jet wash from all different angles, um, check the water's running clear. But, assuming we do that, and I'll run the jet wash on it for about 20 minutes, I'll give the Fleming car a wash because it needs one. Um, we'll run it for about 20 minutes, check for any water ingress, um, but assuming nothing else comes into the footwell after 20 minutes, and it's all running through those bungholes properly, um, we'll dry the carpet out and get it back to you. Okay then, see you soon.